I, this is really weird. Like, really weird. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 11th episode of the show, Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 166th episode overall titled A Few Bad Seeds. We begin this episode at the Junior Botanical Society Greenhouse where Adam and Rocky are working on a project for school, trying to grow something new. Apparently their plant is growing insanely fast, almost a foot tall in 24 hours. Rocky is trying to remember which two plants he crossed to make it grow. He got the seeds from a couple of bags in the lab, and then he shows Adam that it eats metal? Also, Bulk and Skull's plant is dead. Wait, are they still in school? Adam suggests that Rocky takes a sample to Alpha and Rocky doesn't hear him and then he decides that he should just do that on his own in a moment that's supposed to be funny. I, I don't know, it just feels kind of weird that this is how they're doing the character of Rocky now. Bulk and Skull see Rocky's plant after he and Adam leave and they walk over to it and immediately starts eating Bulk's police badge right off of his chest. And even burps afterward before growing even larger. Okay guys, strap in, this is a weird one. Bulk tries to go after it with scissors and now he and Bulk have a piece of it and they end up shoving it into Skull's project because at the rate it's growing, Rocky won't even be able to miss it. In space, Mondo sees the plant and he's super interested in this. He asks Rocket to help him use this to their advantage. Also, Stone is with Bulk and Skull and he's making sure that they're doing okay because he's one of the founding members of the botanical group that they're in. He says that they need to feed plants correctly and he takes them out to show them. Rocky and Adam are walking back and Sprocket and Cog show up talking crap before Adam sees that the Cogs just stole his and Skull's plant. It's morphin' time! The Blue Ranger does a pretty sweet taint slam on a few Cogs before he loses Skull's plant because the Cog just teleports away. Adam also loses the Cog who has Rocky's plant and he fights to get it back but nope, Alpha's ready with those tests. Bulk and Skull are with Stone and he's showing the two fertilizer. He says that they need high octane black gold. They go to get the bucket of it and it's empty so they have to go up to the top shelf to get it and Stone is just standing there literally just smelling literal shit before uh, Skull falls off the ladder dumping the fertilizer on Stone. In this moment, Stone gets a radio call about the cog stealing the plants. Skull knows it's his, so he and Bulk move out. In space, Mondo says he's sure the Rangers will appreciate his work. We meet Pollinator and um, Adrian, two monsters. Mondo gives them extra energy sending them out. In the power chamber, all five rangers show up and Alpha basically says that uh, pretty much Rocky's plant is just going to grow on for forever and it's super dangerous. They're now really worried about Mondo having access to this. Tommy reads data that says that the plant needs to constantly eat to stay strong, but then the alarms go off and apparently the monsters are on Earth at the old junkyard eating old cars. It's morphin' time! The rangers show up and they immediately try to take on the two monsters, but they're getting beat pretty easily. I mean, Adam and Cat are even getting choked out here. Rocky takes on one, but he's not doing great either. The rangers regroup, taking out their Zeo laser pistols, firing at them, but nope. Then the monsters go to go hit them with the pollen that they have, but they mess up, getting into an argument with each other. Mondo is pissed about this, so he calls them back, screaming at them about how they need to finish off the rangers before they eat. These monsters also have, like, terrible Stallone accents. They try to fight back against Mondo, but no, that's not gonna work. Rocky and Adam are walking outside, and Rocky says he's going to the library to see if there's anything that he can do. Then one of the two monsters shows up in front of him, so it's morphin' time. Rocky fights the monster a bit before he just gets hit by Pollen, and he's teleported away by Zordon. Now we see Bulk and Skull parking and leaving their bike as bait for their plants. They then hide in a bush walking around. This feels really lame, like even for Bulk and Skull. The other rangers come to the power chamber to find Rocky, who is now sprouting leaves, and he's acting super weird. Apparently his cells are being transformed, and he tells Kat that she has nice leaves and that her branches aren't bad either. Did he just tell her that she has nice tits or something? Pollinator is still on Earth and Mondo tells him to have a little snack and it'll draw the rangers out to him. That's exactly what happens because in the power chamber, the alarms go off and the four other rangers need to attend to that. It's morphin time! Again. Man, this episode has had a lot of morphin. The four arrive fighting off Pollinator with their sidearm swords before they get blown up and then they try using the power weapons to stop him a bit but nothing is working. Tommy is even getting beat up, which is how you know it's actually bad. Alpha has found the mystery plant, but he can't tell what's making it grow so fast. But then Rocky weakly says, oxygen. And apparently they're going to encase him in pure oxygen to suffocate the plant cells. That's actually kind of a nice little solution, but it comes off as like an after school special about how plants work. Whatever, Rocky's normal and he morphs. The rangers add the power pods, which I legitimately did not know that that's what those things were called, to their Zeo laser pistols firing at Pollinator, apparently using pure oxygen to kill him. Uh, what happened to his brother-cousin thing? 
At the greenhouse, Rocky and Adam show up and Rocky says he's going to use rosemary and basil now. Then they find Bulk and Skull hiding in their bush and they think they hear their bike bait being used and they hear someone coming with a mower and then they jump out, wrestling him to the ground. The guy just leaves and Bulk and Skull just keep fighting with the mower? The end. This episode's weird because they literally did not destroy one of the monsters. I don't think anyways, unless it was like super quickly and I just didn't realize. Honestly, the two monsters look so damn similar, it was really hard to tell them apart most of the episode. And if it were a little bit more of an interesting episode, I might have been more apt to pay closer attention, to be honest. It was just weird. I mean, the rangers morphed like 90 freaking times in this episode. Rocky turning into a plant was super random and something that felt like should have happened like maybe right in the beginning of the episode instead of in the 11th hour. Also, the death of the pollinator was like super underwhelming. However, I will say the Japanese fight footage was really awesome, and now we finally found out that the sidearm weapon things have been called the power pods. So it's a pretty middle of the road episode altogether, I guess, if you calculate like everything. How will next episode be? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you. Mm -hmm.